Yeah, it's so lucky about that. Just stop recording, you know, these iPhones. You, you don't touch it every couple seconds it'll cut off. But anyway, like I was saying, the brother Arala, the Chicago transplant down here in Indianapolis, he says that all the time. You know when you did something wrong because the Spirit tells you, the Lord lets you know. And he does if he's dealing with you, you know, he bring it to your remembrance. But the thing is, you can't keep ignoring it. Like the scripture says in uh, Sirach 5 and 7, put not off from day to day. You know, when sometimes you'll, you'll find yourself doing that. Okay, I'm gonna, as soon as I do this, I'm going to do a lesson. As soon as I do that, then I'm going to read. As soon as I do that, when actuality, it should be the other way around. And, you know, we all victim of this and guilty of this. But the thing is, you got you to gotta catch things like that and nip them in the bud. Uh, it got to be a... a it got to be put into practice. You know, the scripture says we shall rehearse the, 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 the righteous acts. But one thing about rehearsal is repetition. You know, you got to repetition, repetition, especially if you sing. You know, when you sing, you, you practice and then you practice and you practice. And then the, the director going to come up to you. You might be off. You know, you might not be when if, while everybody else around. You sound good. Right when y'all all singing together, you sound good. But when it's time for you to hit it by yourself, now you don't sound so good. All right, and that's like integrity too. You you got people that do the do the right thing when they when they're around others, but then when they by themselves, you know they they do whatever. The scripture speaks about the the Holy Spirit of wisdom will, will flee from that. All right, let's get that real quick. <clears throat> I believe this is the book of uh, Sirach chapter 4 Is it 4? Yeah um, Sirach 4 and 17 This talking about wisdom Is referring to as a woman For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways And bring fear and dread upon him And torment him And torment him With her discipline See the discipline See, that's the thing. The discipline is that's when you getting everything in order. All right, when I wake up, I'm going to do this. At this time, I'm going to do that. After I go to work, I'm going to do this. You know, that, that discipline. It says, uh, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws, then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So wisdom will forsake you. You won't have that that little voice in your head telling you to do what's right. All right. Like the scripture says, wisdom shall meet you in every thought. See how we brought out the scripture. He bring things to your remembrance, chasing them little and little. Sirach 23 and. Uh, uh, Sirach, that ain't it. No, it might not say wisdom. It might say she. Right, right, right. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6, verse 16. Talking about this she is wisdom again. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, right, in the ways in your various situations that you're going through. All right? Wisdom will meet you and let you you got the examples from the scripture okay what did the, this man of the lord do what did that man of the lord do what does the scripture say when dealing with the, with powerful or people or weak people it says uh right uh for she seeketh for she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways and meeteth them in every thought for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline see and really, you can read all of this, but just to, in a, in a, you know, dealing with the time I'm at work right now, I just had to read that next one because it, it spoke back of the discipline, desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. All right, so you got to be careful, you know, with how you walk, you know, with the Lord, and even how you build for the Lord, because you know, as we teach, and you know, our lives are are examples or should be examples. You know, but anyway, uh, let's jump. Wisdom of Solomon one. 
uh, verse 3. For forward thoughts separate from the Most High, and his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to, unto sin. Now, right, because we, we go off the flesh. But if your body's subject to sin, like, to be subject means to be under the authority of. All right. So if sin is your master, you, your, you know, then the Lord can't deal with you. Wisdom can't, wisdom can't deal with you. All right. The, 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 the good should, should, you should, because knowing that we, our righteousness is as filthy rags, we should be working on our good outweighing our bad. Because we gonna have some bad because we, we in the, we in the flesh because this flesh is weak and this flesh goes off. Granted, but that's the fight all right and that's the that's the discipline of 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 trying to perfect yourself you know it says uh for the holy spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in right so wisdom won't remain with you and you may start off with some of it but if you don't continue within it then it's gonna flee. Now you ain't got uh it, now wisdom not meeting you in every thought, you know. You just through. So with that, Lord willing, this was the edifying lesson that hopefully let Kahalaim Laya Hawa Bashim Yao Shai Bashimakadash Wa Ababa Ball.